Um, trying out a new camera today. Um, but uh, good morning, YouTube. Hey, um, it's Kokatan Luffy. I'm here um, to show you a little bit about Kit Icarus. Um, yesterday I was just really too messed up to do anything, but um, here I am. This is the game. Um, I think I'm like on the third chapter now, uh, just about. I love this game. It's it's freaking amazing. Well, let me see if I can uh, kind of show you it on my 3DS here. Um, um, easily by far the best 3DS game out right now. I say maybe only second to Resident Evil Revelations if you're playing it with the Circle Pad and Mario Kart 7. But uh, it's easily the best. <laughs> I love it. Um, the presentation is great. Um, the presentation, um, the gameplay has a really, really big learning curve to it. Um, when I first jumped into the game, you did the flying portion of the level, and that's actually really easy. It's uh, very similar to Star Fox, I think, um, Mission Command or whatever. The one, the Star Fox game that came out on the Nintendo DS, the original DS. Um, it was really easy. Um, it was actually really fun too. But uh, as soon as we got to the walking or land portion of the game, oh, I was. It was pretty bad at first. Like, I was running into everything, I was getting hit by everything. Um, it's. It, like I said, it's a learning curve, you know? Um, it actually kind of reminds me of. Uh, like how you move and dash and things like that. It's very similar to Smash Brothers. And it's actually funny because they actually crack some jokes where they actually go back to Smash Brothers. You know, like uh, Lady pa uh, Lady Palutena was like, yeah, you should dash. Like in that one game, uh, Super Bash Sisters or something they said. And then Pitt was like, oh, you mean Super Smash Brothers, right? And she's like, uh, no, that's not what it's called. <laughs> but, uh... The presentation in the game has really light-hearted, funny humor, uh, a lot of references to other Nintendo titles, and I mean, I just love it, you know, um, Pitt's a really, uh, witty character, in a way, he kind of reminds me of, like, how Spider-Man is in all the Spider-Man games, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's not the funniest thing, but I mean, it'll make you smile, and sometimes you'll actually laugh, so, anyway, this is, um, the chapter selection screen. So I'm in chapter three right now. I'm gonna go back. Uh, the customization in this game is just like unprecedented. It's like it's freaking amazing. You can um, go ahead and um, edit your weapons. Um, oh god, I love this camera. I, I got another camera for doing stuff. Um, but this is the blade I have now. Um, it's a mixture of. Um, I think a club and some other bow, but um, it's a pretty cool sword. Uh, it's very similar to the original weapon that you start out with. So if you go down to powers, you can add little um, enhancements to your weapon. So I guess what this does is it makes uh, enemies turn into health drops. Um, I don't know what landmine does. It just says it plants an invisible bomb on the ground. I haven't tried it. Um, auto rectile. <coughs> rectile. Basically, it um, automatically uh, targets enemies while attacking. Homing boost. It improves the homing shot of abilities. This adds burn, uh, a burn status, and it's faster than poison. And my weapon already automatically has poison, so I don't know if it'll inflict both or not. But um, if it does, we're talking some serious damage. Like, it's pretty crazy. And this other one, you, you recover a little health. I'm not exactly how it works. I don't know if it's just during the whole duration of you playing. Like, constantly. Like, like regain magic in Final Fantasy or something. But, I don't know. But you can go to OK. Um, you can also test out your weapons. I really love it. Like, you can go ahead and uh, see all your weapons. I only have two right now. So, this is the original weapon you start out with, first blade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my weapon right now. So, you can try it. You can try weapon it out. Um, sorry, it sounds so horrible. I'm still really sick. Uh, but yeah, let me show you how this works. 
So if you stand still, you can um you automatically charge your weapon basically. So you just press the L button and you can shoot a charge shot. This weapon doesn't really have a really really good charge shot. Um But it has rapid fire and stuff and I don't know if, yeah, if you can see it, it automatically inflicts poison. I haven't seen the burn status yet, so... Maybe if we keep hitting it, he'll... Get a uh, flicked burn. If you're close enough, obviously, you'll do melee automatically. But, um... The thing will automatically change, and you'll... You can tell if it's, uh, melee or not, or whatever. Wish I had a stand I'd show you. But basically you aim with this, you know, with um, the touch screen. If you want to change your camera, you just kind of flick it in uh, directions really fast. And that's what's kind of hard um, to get used to. Trying to aim and then, you know, flick, you know, on a moment's notice. Because an enemy's behind you or something. And enemies do appear behind you a lot. So you need to master this. Um, so it, it takes a bit. But, um... The game really doesn't have long load times or anything. I mean, it's really fast. I mean, it's it's freaking amazing. It really is. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go back. Uh, what else could I show you guys? <clears throat> so, um, I don't know what treasure hunt is. What is this? Check the rewards. Oh, yeah. It kind of has a thing like Smash Brothers, like, as you like achievements and as you get them you know you unlock new weapons new items abilities things like that um so you can practice you can go here um you can turn weapons into hearts you can fuse weapons um you can buy some let me go to the shop where's the shop Oh, here we go. So, um, yeah, this is one of the weapons. And I really like how they all have these different statuses. So you'll really know that there's, I mean, there's like a lot of customization and how you can, um, change, you know, your whole style, basically, of playing. I mean, most, a lot of weapons are melee or uh, really close range, like, like, weapons like the clubs and stuff like that, like, they're close range only. You can't normal attack from long range, but you can do a charge shot or a dash, a dash charge shot, which is kind of like a smash attack in the Super Smash Bros. series, which will send a projectile toward the enemy. Like, the club that I have, it shot like a... Normally, it would shoot some kind of blast, but the charge shot uh, sent like a tornado, basically, that flew and attacked the enemy. Needle palm. I haven't used anything other than the swords and the palms, so... I mean, the sword and a club. Um, I'm really interested in using claws and some of these other things here. So... I don't know if any of these things will work in multiplayer, like, you know, confusion and stuff. I don't know if that'll just make your buttons all crazy and stuff, like Fantasy Star or whatever, but... Uh, um, I really love this game. I mean, it's amazing. Um, there's a huge learning curve when it comes to, like I said, you know, when you first start the game. But, uh, long story short, um, very competitive game. Um, I can tell, like, the competitive, uh, or I guess the customization of this game reminds me, uh, similar to, like, Jump Ultimate Stars. You know, I don't know if any of you guys played that on the Nintendo DS, but... That was probably my favorite DS game. Um, Jump Ultimate Stars. Um, you know, it's a third-person shooter. Uh, I mean, it's it's great. Uh, I, I love this game. I'd easily put it up there as a, the best 3DS game out right now. Like I said, um, the only other game that I'd probably put on top right now is uh, Resident Evil Re uh, Revelations, which I recently got, and I love that game. I was playing that game like crazy. Uh, other than that, Mario Kart. Like, those are the three must-haves, you know, for the Nintendo 3DS. So, like, buy it. Like, don't worry about some of these reviews that are out, like, because they're really bad. Like, I don't think that they really tried to learn how to play the game to enjoy it. They just kind of rushed through the game, you know, just to have a review. And I'm pretty sure they were dying a lot, because I 
realized when I um, started getting better at the game, like on the second level and stuff, that I actually had to take the game a little bit slower and plan what I wanted to do rather than just running it because you'll get your ass kicked. I mean, it's no joke. And I'm not even playing on any higher difficulty. I think the first level I played on like two, and then I raised it up to four when I tried the second level. But I mean, it's 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 pretty tough. So. Uh, I uh, I haven't tried online yet or anything, but uh. I definitely give this game a 9 or a 10 easily. Um, uh, I actually haven't tried 3D or anything. I'm not really a 3D. I don't really care about that feature on the 3DS, to be honest. But uh, the visuals are amazing. Uh, I mean, gotta love those Sakurai menus. It just brings me back to Kirby's Air Ride and Smash Brothers and everything. But anyway, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Or, you know what, before I do that, let me show you, like, an intro to, like, a level or something. I'll leave you with that. Let's go to the first chapter. Mm, doesn't matter. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's been too long, Lady Paltana. We can chat later, Pit, but now it's time to fight. The Underworld Army's invaded. Whoa. You weren't kidding. Okay, yeah, I really can't aim, so... <laughs> yeah, I gotta end the video here <laughs> until I get, like, a stand or something. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Oh, I'm still recording. Derp.